Hello you, and welcome back to Vanilla Railroad for Beginners in Factorio version 0.17. This is episode 51. My name is Satchmo, thank you so much for being here, really appreciate you stopping by and uh, hanging out with me. This is probably going to be the penultimate episode. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up next episode. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because, and I just came down here to grab my car. And then uh, I'm going to drive back to where I was. But I need my car. Because we are almost done. Here we are at 50%. Oh, here momentarily we will be at 50%. Boop. There we go. Now, I could just sit here and let this thing slowly tick over. And it would get to 100% and we would click this button and win the game. So, very cool. Yay, we won. But, that's not a very exciting way to go out. Uh, I mean, the way we're going to do it is not very exciting either. But, um, it's going to be better. Because we're not going to have all of this deficit in the, uh, ooh. I hit that one hard in the base. See, what I mean is this. Uh, plastic is hurting pretty bad. And as a result, red circuits are hurting pretty bad. Right, because the, the, the plastic's only making it in what, five or six uh, assemblers deep. So we're going to try to put out some of these fires and uh, help, the, help the base out a little bit before we finish up the game. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch the priority here to right so it's going to feed, instead of feeding some to the right and some to the left, it's going to feed everything to the right here so that we can prioritize uh, these circuits above everything else. Then what we're going to do, here's the reason for that, is because we're going to prioritize, um, uh, what are these called? Speed modules. <laughs> Speed modules. I'm going to turn him so he doesn't work anymore. So all the red circuits now flow down to these guys. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of this. Uh, let's see. Take these out. There we go. Take those out. Take those out. There we go. Reset the... Reset them. I don't want them working. Oops. Sorry. There we go. Because um, I, I want to make sure that everything, all the red circuits, just go to speed modules right now. So I'm going to leave the speed modules in the things where they belong. I will finish you up with two more. And I'll even steal yours. Uh, I'm going to focus all of my energy to these circuits right here. There we go. I can take them out of here too. Uh, not circuits. I'm All my circuits to uh, speed modules. Okay. And here's why. Grab my car. Where did I put it right here? Okay. So now we get, we're getting a little bit more plastic in here, and that's good. So the reason plastic is hurting is because we don't have a lot of petroleum. If you look at this, is the end of this little loop right here. Look at the end, and we're not getting any petroleum gas. In fact, you can see that this is the last machine that's kind of consistently making plastic. Of the, uh, what, 6, 12 that are here, I'm only really working on 4 of them. So I need more petroleum. So what we can do is we can go over to the other side of the base and we're just kind of tracing the problem backwards. You guys see me this a, a number of times in this playthrough already. We're kind of just tracing the problem backwards to find out where that is. And let's see. Well, petroleum is made from heavy oil and we also have it uh, being made from light oil as well. So light oil stores are full and crude oil uh, is almost full. So... I should be making petroleum. So that tells me that my I'm not, I don't have enough factories. Or my factories aren't working fast enough. So that's where these come in. So there we go. Now, uh, let's see. There we go over the side. Uh, crafting speed 2.5, 150%. So every one of these factories is now working 100, except for this last couple ones here, are working 150% faster. That's going to help out uh, pretty significantly. The thing is, is that now when you speed up this part of the process, of course, the parts of the process behind it now start to fall behind. So I need to be to be aware of that. I need to be thinking about that, okay? The other thing, and this is the thing that we're going to solve next, we're just going to let this run for a little while, is that our crude oil is going to start depleting. In fact, it already has. We're at 1697% uh, when a fresh one has 3570, so we're at about a third over here, this one has 6,000. 
This one has 6,000. This one has uh, almost 6.7,000. So we can see this one's really running out. So we're going to tap another one. In fact, we're going to tap this one uh, for two reasons. One is in the middle of a forest, so it's going to help with pollution. And it's by a big body of water. So even if the pollution kind of gets out, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, that's reason number one. Reason number two is I already have the rail network going out in that direction. So it's nothing to just kind of tie in right here. So I want to be thinking about setting up a second crude oil train this episode while my speed modules are being created because that's the thing I'm focusing right now and of course all of that is happening whilst the uh, rocket is being built because the rocket is on the uh, far end of the factory slowly being built so we're making progress while we're doing all this let's go ahead and take uh, a little over half what does this come out to? 700? That's okay. Let's take really only one of these. Um, let's take half of you, half of you, half of you. Uh, I need fluid wagons. I need pumps. 36? That sounds about right. I need just two of you. And I don't need any cargo. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to be doing some clearing. Right, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have to clear some uh, trees and some um, cliffs. So let's go ahead and grab some cliff explosives. We'll grab 80 of those. And then we do a sanity check down here. Let's see. Got the pumps, we got the that, we got the signals, we got the rails. Um, can't think of anything else we need. Oh, pump jacks. Of course you can. Pumps, uh, pump jacks, and pipes as well. Because you need a lot of pipes to do this. Those two things are right here. Half a box of you, half a box of you, and 23. Let's grab these as well. And five more. Okay. So there we go. Let's go ahead there and build another train. Um, before I go out there, I want to do something else too. I'm thinking about it. Just so I don't have to drive back and forth a thousand times. I try to eliminate that. You guys you guys have seen the videos, you know that's not always the case, but I do try to. <laughs> I feel like Anakin in uh, episode two. I am trying, Master. The Star Wars movies are a bit of a contentious topic for some people, I'm aware of that. I myself happen to be a Big Star Wars fan. My my wife, uh, my wife and I are huge Star Wars fans. Although we're well aware that the uh, well, we don't think that the series has ne necessarily been treated fairly <laughs> in recent years. Um, this is oil. We're gonna rename this Oil Outpost. All right. And uh, when you do that very conveniently the name if it has an uh a train with that station stop assigned i think in the past you had to go in and reassign the train too but the trains now are smart enough to say okay well if you name if you just renamed it then i'll just rename it here too so that's really really convenient so anyway that and uh, so two important things out here is one i renamed that and two i broke up this into smaller uh pieces i wasn't bothered and if before with this being one big block because I only had one train that was ever going to go over there but now that we're going to have several trains go over there it is important that um, I be able to fit them back there that is something in this playthrough I thought I would do more of and didn't and um I wish I did I wish I had done a little bit more of this in the past um I wish I had made the, the rail network just a little bit more well, really, it doesn't need it, is the thing. It wasn't, what I was going to say it was robust. Um, really, it doesn't need it. The base isn't that big. What I think about I'm going to do is, in the future... Let's see. Yeah, that works. Let's go tear those down. In fact, I can tear that up, too. Even the rails. Turn my robot on. Okay. I think in the future, when I do another Factorio series, because I'm going to do another one eventually slash continue this one as 
a second series where I build this into like a mega base or something. I think what I'm going to do then is um, T intersection. A lot of this stuff that I kind of talked about doing but never like fully fleshed out. I'm going to spend a lot of time really working on that. And um, just setting everything up from the beginning. Or if I continue this one, I'll be from the beginning. We get the idea. Setting everything up to be um, as thorough and as robust as possible. Whereas in this one, I gave a lot of concepts on how to do that kind of stuff. Hey, be looking out for this. Hey, be looking out for that. But in terms of the actual playing, uh, I wasn't able to actually execute a lot of them. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is my first Let's Play series. And uh, let me bring the, the rails down while I'm talking instead of having to come back for them. So I know exactly how I have to deforest. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to take out... Here we go. Yeah, you know, being that this is my first series, and you got to used to talking on camera, and got to get used to uh, trying to be entertaining as well as inf uh, informational and... Just a lot of things that go along with it. Um, it can be tricky to to practice what you preach, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not going to be tapping this, at least not in this playthrough, but just for, you know, why not? Go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, and at this point, I can get it on my car and deforest this whole area. All of that. And while that's being built, I'll switch over to my oil tab and start placing down the pump jacks where possible. Nope, something else I could have done is uh, bring the the uh, the power poles up here, but it's okay. It's not a big deal to go bring up and get those. Yeah, so it's tricky. It's, tri it's tricky balancing all that, providing commentary, providing education, um, making it all together something interesting that people want to watch. You know, because even, even if you do all that, even if it's uh, informational and there's good commentary and everything, it still has to be like an actual product that people want, i.e. like it still has to be a game people are interested in, in a setting of the game that people are interested in, and accomplishing a goal that other people wish to accomplish themselves. Like, if nobody cared about trains in this game, this would not be a very popular series. So, um, there's just a lot of factors to consider is what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um, I don't want to look at the, the, the flashing lights, so I'm going to go back and grab the power. And... Signal it as well. I'm trying to do as, as little running back and forth as possible. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Good gracious, come on. Um, oh, were those connected? I think I just didn't see that they were. Right, right, there. And I would normally endeavor to make this a little bit more attractive. But for today... We're just going to kind of run it down like that. Not really too worried about the spacing or anything. Okay. Um. No, it doesn't really. Okay, that fits it. I mentioned before, these are a little bit hard to power pull, like, pretty. Make them pretty. Because, uh, well, look, at they're all jagged, and there's just nothing you can really do about that. Right there's fine. And I can catch both of you, so right there, right there. Okay, no flashies. We're good. Okay. Uh, next thing is let's give them somewhere to pump all this oil into. So let's grab this one and get started. We'll play this little puzzle. Mm 
Okay, those two are connected. Um, and I'm not going to be over here. Like a ton, you know? So, in terms of, um, you know, you do the undergrounds so that way uh, you can walk. Like, I can walk in between these. But we're not really going to be walking over here anyway. However, I, you know, I still have a tendency just to do the undergrounds anyway. Right here I'm not, because it's too annoying to have to to manage this one right here. But if I were to bring it over, it would be too many undergrounds, so forget it. Okay, those are all connected, right? Yes, 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 yes. A little bit of a sanity check. Um, okay, now that one's connected. That one could have probably been phasing down, and that would have been better, but that's okay. Okay, now somewhere in the middle we can drag it out. How about here, in line with this one? Very good. I love the pipette, if you can't tell. Ooh, that's one. That's too far back. There. That's okay. Alright, and then what else? I think all of these. I'll do a sanity check here in a minute, but I think all of those are fine. And then we'll run out this way. Uh, all of these, they're so close together. Let's do that. There, and there. These guys all underground. Uh, there comes, it's pretty easy to figure out, but there comes a point when it's economical to, uh, to use the undergrounds versus the other ones. And it's easy math to do, I just haven't done it. It's, it's pretty negligible, really, in the grand scheme of things. Especially when we're on the other side of the planet, we're building a rocket, so... Okay, anyway, that's gonna come out just some distance, and it's going to be met with some storage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then uh, something else you can do here, it's not a bad idea really, is to actually pump it in. There we go. That'll kind of help the flow out and pull everything from the pipes this way. So there we go, they're all filling up. Now, more deforesting of course. Um, just all of it. Take it all. Take it all, there we go. Before I run out of room, I'll go ahead and make some wooden chests. Oops. I spoke too soon. Here we go. Okay. Wooden chests is stored shit in. And then, um, oil. Where is my oil? Should be with the O's. There we are. Oil loader. Okay. Oil loader can go... There. Why not? Um, thank you, auto save. Remember, all of these we're gonna jet out one and then connect together. That's the prettiest thing, but it works. Okay, and then lastly, we power pull. One big power pull, it's fine. To connect all of that. Beautiful, okay, all of these are being filled with oil, if that's not correct. Yes, it is. Or if that's correct. Okay, cool, let's switch gears, go to the train bar, and load, throw down some locomotives. There we go. Very cool. I'll put some of this useless wood in there. Turn you on to automatic. Now something, man, and I forgot to do it again. Oh, I can click on this. Oh, but it doesn't help. 
Um, automatic. This is super cheaty, but I'm just going to do this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to send it somewhere purely so it goes in, in range of my radar so I can copy the instructions and paste them. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It is what it is. Okay. So now the uh, now the instructions are in here. I can turn on to automatic. Um, he's saying he can't go anywhere because he doesn't have a path, and that's exactly what I want. So as soon as I build the path, he will take off. He'll be off like a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect the path in the rear, and then we'll connect it in the front, and then he'll be off on his way. Very cool. Um, unfortunately, I have to deforest even more. I should have brought up a lot of supplies with, or I think I brought a lot of supplies with me, so I think I should be okay. Um, that's fine. Um, let's go pretty far south to do the turnaround. Oops, too far south. There we go. And then this. There we go. Beautiful. Put a signal down there so that they're on two different blocks at least. I'll go back and do more of that in a minute. For now, uh, I've lost my auto. Where is my car? There we are. And here we go. Yeah, we'll connect it to the front and this guy will take off. And he'll be happy he did. I've pre-deselected all the forest. Let's let these guys catch up. They're a lot faster now, now that I have all that research. Oh, you know something else I can do too? Would help me help me out would help me out, sorry I stuttered, is to de, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have the atomic bomb researching back there, which that's consuming a lot of resources, so if I really want to finish the game, I could, uh, drive through this forest, and if I really want to finish the game, I could just deselect that atomic bomb, and, um, that would filter a lot more resources to the, uh, to the rocket, but I don't, I don't want to do that, there we go, I gotta be careful now, because the train should just go, and yes indeed he does and his first stop conveniently is the um fueling station because i only put a little bit of wood in him and wood is not a very good fuel for a train so that's the first place he goes and he'll have solid fuel on his train something else you can do i'm placing these kind of like semi randomly in terms of their length i mean it is random um I'm trying to include, you know, at least a train's length, these blocks, so that way, um, that's like the maximum amount of throughput you could do. Okay, there we go. I mean, well, the maximum amount would be to put a train, to, to put a signal in every one of these spots would be like the maximum. But anyway, the point was like, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty good if you can just do one every train's length. So sometimes what you do, because you can place things from the train, is I, uh, oh, whoa, hold on. One more thing while I'm here. See, I almost forgot to do it again. This is really important. In fact, there are two important things that I haven't done. I'm going to name you Oil Outpost. There we go. Because otherwise, they'll both go to that other one, and this outpost will be useless. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, but since you can place things from the train, uh, you can just drive the train up to one of the stoplights or you know to your rear is out of one of the stoplight uh, blocks and then put another signal down and then drive forward and then put another one down and so you can essentially just drive the train and use it as a as a ruler no get out and do it come on i tried to click on it several times there we go now one more thing i have to do to make the oil more robust the more oil system more robust. In terms of the trains. 
is I have to fix this disaster right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to fix it by destroying it. This is not enough space. This is too tight for these trains to be navigating. Now that I have two of them. And there's not enough space for them to come back out and, 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 and wait and everything else. Because I don't have a stacker here. I have a stacker for the dry goods, my ores and such. But I don't have a stacker for oil. So... Now one thing you could do is you can have a kind of a you know an omni stacker that stacks every train. And so I could force this these trains to go through um, the stacker back here. And essentially I would do that by um, by not having a connection right here. Which would be totally fine if they had they would have to use this con I'm doing a map so you can see. What I could do is just destroy this connection, like I did. And then they would come down here, they would have to come and then have to go through the stacker, and then have the stacker connect up here. So instead of a roundabout, um, like here, which is what they would use, then uh, they would have to come th through the stacker over here, and a train would wait patiently here while the other train was in the depot. So that's like another option. In my particular situation, this wouldn't necessarily be the best way to do things. So we're not going to do them that way. So, there we go. Um, something else you can do, I'm going to go ahead and split that section up a little bit more too, so I can put a train here and a train here. Increase throughput a little bit. And I'm also going to... Tear all this up. This is the outbound lane. I'm going to push it over to our left a little bit. I should have trains coming up and waiting momentarily. In fact, right now, since there isn't one in a depot, I'm starving my depot of oil, but that's okay. I feel like, I feel like, but that's okay is like the slogan of this Let's Play series. Shoot the rock. Shoot the other rock. This is not a <laughs> efficient way to do this, but but again, that's okay. Okay, there we go. And then here, we'll have the train. Let's just space it properly. There we go. Again, train going in. Rail coming out. Um, here, we already have the train going in. I had it set up from earlier, so that's fine. Unless I missed something, but I don't think I did. Um, now, where does this one? Oh, it's a little further over. That's fine. And... There we go. Now I have to be careful because... Oops. I got cut off the tracks, too. There we go. Okay. Um, again, let's go ahead and put in a break right here. I think that's good enough. And put in another one here. And maybe one more there. Again, that should be good. If I had a train with me, I would just space it. But I don't have one. Okay, let's check the map. Okay, so both trains are waiting on that. So what I'm going to do is actually just send one to the oil drop-off. So that way this guy can get some of his... Because right now he's empty, theoretically. So he's going to go to the drop-off and navigate this whole system. And he's going to be waiting. And then maybe when he leaves, he'll go to the one in the south. So that'll be... Ideal. So there we are. Yeah, he has enough room right here, so that's okay. Cool. Now that we have killed time doing that, let's look at our petroleum output. Uh, petroleum gas is not empty, <laughs> but only by like the most like technical definition. Um, 
Let's go look at the base. By this point, I should have more everything. Here we go. Park my car somewhere kind of in the middle. Um, still not getting a ton of petroleum. So, we still need more petroleum produ uh, production. And how are we on uh, speed modules? I have 28 of them. Okay, so that's good. 28 is okay. So, 30 minutes in the video. Let's go ahead and speed up the petroleum production. Oh, it is. I am getting some. I am getting some. I'm getting more than I was. But just like you have a snowballing effect when you start running out of things, where a deficit in one place causes a deficit somewhere else and so on and so forth, you can also kind of reverse that deficit like we're doing here. Or at least we're attempting to. So let's speed all of those up. Here's the other thing. Here it is right here. Light oil. We've consumed all that light oil. And petroleum. Crude oil is okay now, because crude oil just got pumped into. So, now we can speed, already have those speeded up. Oh, but there's speed module too. Okay, so let's speed these up even faster. Still don't have quite enough, but that's okay. And so now that we have two trains working, we should, here we go, a couple thousand in each one. So it's going to start catching up. It's going to start catching up. Um, I don't have... I have 28. Well, you know what I can do just for the time being? Let me do this just for the time being. Oh, there they are. Beacons. Now, I did not set this up to be beaconed. That is to say, like, when I placed these down, I did not place them in an arrangement that was, like, is conveniently beaconable. <laughs> um, there are arrangements that do just that. But I did not. So in your own playthroughs, if that's something you're interested in, then uh, keep that in mind. At this point, you should have the, the knowledge to do so. Put the, uh, let me turn my thing on so they can go do it. Since I'm stuck. I'll turn it back off. Alright, now let's grab this. And we'll speed module all this even further. Even though it's speed module 2, it is still faster. Now I know speed module 2 probably be more efficient to be using these as a in as a product for to make speed module three but that's okay all right so now these are producing at 270 percent faster and yes the petroleum still grows beautiful and that'll go faster and faster we can begin these as well and yeah, everything will go faster and faster Go take a look. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, look at the plastic now. There it is. Now look at plastic. Gorgeous. Okay. So plastic is almost compressed now. So there we go. Took the whole episode, but now we got plastic flooding in. And I can take this off. So to allow more of it to go north. Um, we should be upgrading to blue belts. It's something I was going to talk about in the next episode. But anyway, plastic is now going further into the thing. And as a result, we are producing more red circuits. And as a result of that, we are now producing more... Um, speed modules. Which right now they're all coming to me via robots. I've got three of them inventory now, so very, very cool. Alright, just as a, uh, the last thing I'm gonna do this episode, and again, it's maybe the penultimate one. The next episode may be the last proper one. But let's go up here and look at the. Oh, hey, we get to watch it happen. Very cool, what timing. And. Boom. Let's watch it. I can't believe I'm actually going to be able to get this on camera. That's pretty cool. Wow. 
Very, very cool. I love that. So there we go. The rocket is now completely ready to go. And take out the um, satellite. Oh, that's a request. I'm sorry. Oh, did I not make this stuff to... Oh, I didn't make the thing to to actually create the satellite. What a doofus. Um, what do you need to make the satellite? Oh, yeah. All kind of stuff. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, well, there we go. That's actually something we could do next episode. Next episode, we'll make the satellite, which is going to go in this thing. And we'll kind of put out a couple more fires in the base, and then that will be our final episode. And it'll be really cool for us to, uh, or for me, <laughs> but for you to be watching too, to actually be able to uh, yeah, finish the game. So that's pretty cool. Something I'm noticing. Kind of interesting. Uh, the, the shadow is being cast on the ground. So they've taken the time to put shadows in. But my character doesn't have a shadow. He, has, he casts a shadow. But the shadow of the rocket does not cast on him. So it's being drawn on a different layer. That's kind of cool. Anyway, just something I noticed. Very cool. Thank you guys for being with me. I really appreciate you taking time to hang out and watch the video. I'd love it if you guys would leave me a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Um, preferably all three, but you do what you want. And I uh, really appreciate it again. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode, the final episode. Thank you guys so much. Catch you next time.